it's no secret that Michigan's population is shrinking, but students here in Kalamazoo are developing ideas to keep top talent in town. We are working with the Monroe Brown Foundation um, to improve retention of young professionals in Kalamazoo. Leading the charge, nine groups of students from Kalamazoo College and Western Michigan University. At least from a student perspective, we don't see like the fun in Kalamazoo because we're doing um, kind of the typical college things, not coming downtown. Through the leadership and business strategy course, Emily Kramer's group wants to bridge that gap. We want to bring a flock of bird electric scooters to Kalamazoo. Um, so students have a fun and new way to make it downtown. Um, hopefully to the new hockey arena. Other concepts include increasing downtown housing options, networking opportunities, and mentorship programs. One thing we discovered is that our community could really benefit from more engaging activities for the, the 22 to 30 year old. Doug Lepisto, director of the program, says they've received feedback from college students, people still in the community, and professionals who have left. The other thing that we saw in our research is building that connection between students and the smaller companies here is really critical. They often are told to go to a big city and take a big job, but there are a lot of great companies based here in West Michigan. To keep talent, a stronger connection between the social and professional scenes is a must. I sort of see us as Grand Rapids 20 years ago. So um, if we can keep up that um, trajectory, I think Kalamazoo will be in a great spot. Fritz Brown, president of the foundation, says groups will have a solid concept by the end of this semester, and then they will work on making it happen. I have been very impressed with all the students and, and all their presentations, even the ideas that seem you know, uh, that seemed a little far fetched. The Monroe Brown Foundation has pledged up to $400,000 to invest in concepts that come out of these student projects. Reporting in Kalamazoo, Yasmin Ludi, Fox 17 News.